Welcome to the Crown Oil Stadium. We're at Rochdale this evening for the visits of Woking in the National League on a clear, dry and relatively mild evening here in the northwest. And uh, it's a clash that um, is going to be an intriguing one, I think. Two sides with contrasting fortunes, Woking only a few weeks ago were plummeted into the relegation zone but following three consecutive victories and now unbeaten in four Rochdale then with uh, a line about five yards beyond the 18 yard line as the ball is whipped in towards the left hand side of the post headed away by Rochdale a chance here oh and a great effort coming in from Anderson producing a great save from Brooks diving to his left hand side for a corner yeah, Anderson he bobbled around a bit, came to Anderson and he set himself, got a little bit of space and hit it really, really well, And uh, but well saved by Brook. As uh, Finlay Armstrong does well just to get himself out of a tight spot, and that allows Rochdale to break forward now with Kian Hayes. He's got great pace, gets beyond Kelly Evans, bursting into the box near the half, near the uh, byline now. Cuts in field, still has possession on the 18 line line. Benton a shot Ooh. and it just whistles past Yaskalainen's far post, nil nil. Well, if, if Woking fans didn't know who Kian Hayes was, they know now he had real pace there going, going down the wing and held on well and did well to make a space for himself to fire in a shot that just went just, just past the post. And uh, but first, first real point of danger from Rochdale. We'll just break off the latest scores just to see what Woking can do from this position now with Casey the reverse pass to Edwards lines it up towards the far post and running in there was I think it was Casey one running in ghosting in at the back post and it almost stole it to score his first goal of the season yeah beautiful ball in from Curtis Edwards and Casey came through and uh Hard to see how tight it was, but it, it, went, it, went, it went high and over. But a, a well-worked move there by Woking. He has been a solid performer for them uh, this season, definitely. As uh, Anderson links up well with Lewis on the far oh. side. The cross-field pass is poor, though, straight towards Mather. A mistake by Ebox Landell. Must be a goal for Woking! And it is, as it's Kendall! Barging through into the box. Terrible mistake from the captain, Ebanks Landell. And Kendall wasn't going to miss from eight yards out. It's Rochdale nil, walking one. Yeah, and Kendall's been, uh, you know, on far. He's, he's just uh, scored and assists in the last few weeks. He's been brilliant for Woking. And there he was alert onto it. And really, once he got through, he had the keeper to beat. And he fired it in with a, with a plum, as they say. So... Great Woking, I think deserve for Woking. They they've been on the front foot. They've made quite a few chances, and uh, that will pick up the the momentum even even more. Long way to go in this game, but a, a great start for Woking. Well done, Charlie Kendall. Kendall's fourth of the season. Didn't he absolutely leather that into the back of the net? Casey streaming forward down the left hand side for Woking. Turns his well, finds Anderson, cutting in from the left hand side just forced back by Gilmore ever so slightly lifted forward by Kelly Evans now Chessie down by Henderson right into the box now with Kendall wins the ball back brilliantly and Rowan Eds with half a chance about 14 yards out right footed Woking leading by one goal to nil pressing forward again with Anderson runs into trouble he's dispossessed by Gilmore who now picks up lays it out towards the right hand side finding the run of Ken Hayes gets away from Kelly Evans strikes oh. that's a brilliant goal that is a brilliant goal from Rochdale Kian Hayes stepping in from the right hand side and unleashes a left footed strike from the edge of the box beyond Yaskalainen it's Rochdale 1 Woking 1 well the, the top man for Rochdale this first half has been Kian Hayes 2 an earlier attack was brilliant but this was even better and this time he got his shot on target and uh, that's uh, really against the run of play on this half and uh, Woking had looked very much in control but now that now they uh, need to sort of fight their way back into this to get, get their nose in front again but as Rochdale quickly get out beyond their own 18 yard line Woking camped inside the Rochdale half right now 
as uh, Anderson gets a shove in the back from Rodney, he does well to stay on his feet, wins the ball, chance of a shot, oh. and he rifles one just over the bar from about 25 yards out, well he had a great chance at the start of the game, that produced a fine save from Brooks, it opened up for him there didn't it, Rodney lifts it out towards the uh, left hand side for Rochdale, taken well by Mather, Armstrong in field to Gilmore, now with East, launches one onto this right hand side, trapped well by Ken Evans really heavy challenge coming in with two feet off the ground from Kelly Evans and the crowd is shouting off 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 that was a really really firm hard tackle going in on Kian Evans as uh, and obviously looks like Piv is involved with crowd, a couple crowd, of Rochdale players crowd, no, crowd noise as well which is, now that uh, could influence the referee's decision yeah. I'll ask for your interpretation of that tackle shortly Kelly Evans went in like a steam train and he has received a straight red for that tackle you're shaking your head eh, Nicholson it did look to me as though both feet were raised off the ground as he I, may well have caught the ball but the way he went in in the second half, neither has Brooks to be fair, no. but it has still been a very, very close affair yeah, you're right, it hasn't changed at all really here's Pavey just trying to bring the ball down shot comes in, takes a deflection, it's uh, Kendall, wins a corner though but yeah. great reaction there from uh, Kendall just to seize the opportunity and fire it right footed, took a deflection and it loops over the bar good battling there from Pavey and it fell to Fell to Kendall and his shot, as you say, took a deflection over the bar. But again, working on the front foot, and they're not. Still waiting for this corner from Edwards. You can see Cuthbert is in there, Pavey behind him. Edwards stood on the D. He might make a surge into the box. Comes in, is flicked in by Cuthbert. It's all scrambling around inside the six-yard box as Rodney eventually clears towards Hayes. Hurtling away over the halfway line as Pavey tries to get a lunge from behind. He won the ball. He won the ball, says the referee. Why are you going to book me, he says. He's clearly furious. All the dugout, the working dugout, are clearly incensed with that decision going against Pavey. Doyle can't believe it's gone against him. Neither can Pavey, but Pavey's name goes in the book. Yeah, that, I think, was very harsh and... Uh... Obviously, the crowd noise is building, and so I think he was hard done by there. But where did Paving, Pavey come from to win that tackle? I, I couldn't believe it was him actually making the tackle. Here's Hayes, cutting in from the right edge of the box, about 20 yards out. Gilmore with a chance of a shot, goes down under a challenge from Anderson. In fact, it's on the scene of making the tackle. Very dangerous set piece now for Woking to defend, which may in fact be inside the D. Rodney to the left Morales five yards to the left there's a five or six man working wall level with Jaskalainen's right hand post it's Rodney who strikes it's into the net he beats Jaskalainen it may have gone through his hands but Rodney has scored for Rochdale a late late goal that may well end Woking's on beat and run and I'm just looking inside the six-yard box because a working player has gone down following a possible skirmish. My eyes were drawn towards Devante Rodney as he ran towards the dugout, but then as I looked up, a working player has gone down. The referee has got something to look at here. He's gesturing towards possibly the medical team to have a look. I can't make out who... The working player is who has gone down. But Rodney has scored from that free kick. Got it around the wall. Low beyond Jaskalainen. And he has given Rochdale the lead. Coming from behind it. In fact, Ian, you are right. It's Moss. He's got the signal from the physio saying he's OK to continue. He's rubbing the back of his head. Yep, they've yet to come on. But those are the players. Here's Edwards. Turns it onto his left foot. Gets it onto this left-hand side. With Kendall. Shot comes in. Great save from the keeper over the bar. It was Ed's 
first time, right footed, it was straight towards the keeper, it was dipping under the bar, and Brooks had to react. Yeah, really, really good ball in, caught it well, and well, well saved by the keeper there. In fact, Rochdale are going to make a double change themselves with Sassi and Kawane are coming on. They've delayed it. They've deliberately delayed it. Edwards is kind of wondering, well, are you making the switch or not? They're not going to. So the corner is going to take place. Edwards drills it into the six-yard box. Almost reaches ahead of Pavey. Nodded back in by Casey. Oh, it's an equaliser for Woking! But it's not given, it's not given, the offside flag has gone up. I couldn't make out, we got the final touch. But the goal is ruled out. The Woking dugout erupted in joy. But it's been cancelled, yet more drama at the end of this game. And very heated now on the touchline as well as on the pitch. Uh, obviously we can't see the replay, we can't see what happened, but uh, very disappointing for Woking. They've done so well to force their way back into this. And Anderson and Ince coming off for Smith and Paul Ozu. Yep, Anderson and uh, Ince making way. With uh, Smith and Ozu coming out. What what an end we've we've seen to this game. It was almost drifting halfway through the second half. Still until going. The Rochdale fans booing the referee because they cannot believe that he is still allowing play to continue. Cuthbert, the short throw to Edwards, down the left-hand side, back with Cuthbert. First time cross towards the penalty spot, half cleared, shot comes in from Smith, it bubbles inside the Rochelle penalty area. Casey tries to battle for the ball, the full-time whistle blows! What an incredible end to this game! And looking at the working players, there are four or five of them who cannot believe what has happened to this game. They have fallen to their first defeats in five. More than 100 minutes are showing on the clock. And Woking have fallen agonisingly to a 2-1 defeat. Ian Nicholson. I think agonisingly is the word. I think Woking played some lovely stuff in that game. and look to be really getting their shape and you could see the way they were playing and they, they did play some very good football got their nose in front and then it all changed well actually it didn't all change at the same